YNR star Melissa Claire Egan just shared a heartbreaking milestone of her career. While Heather Tom's on her way to play a new role rather than just the actor of Bold and the Beautiful. That's Not All is Rena Sofer leaving General Hospital again? And there's a special return on the horizon on days as well. So watch till the end of the video to find out all about it. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. It's been two years since The Young and the Restless gave us a storyline that hit close to home and tackled a subject that we rarely see handled with such care in daytime television, mental health and suicide prevention. Chelsea Lawson went through a life-changing and heartbreaking experience that saw her reach rock bottom in one of the show's most emotional episodes. Depressed and suicidal, Chelsea found herself standing on the edge, both literally and figuratively, about to take her own life. Thankfully, Billy was there to help her find her way back from the edge, talking her down and encouraging her to seek professional help. Since then, Chelsea's been on a journey to heal and make amends for the damage she caused during that dark time. She's also dived back into her signature drama, particularly with Adam and Billy, but hey, that's Chelsea for you. Recently, Melissa Claire Egan, who plays Chelsea, took to Instagram to mark this important milestone. She reflected on the impact the storyline had, not just on the show, but on viewers as well. Hard to believe this month marks two years since this very important episode and storyline, she wrote. Egan went on to express her gratitude for the outpouring of messages she received from fans, many of whom shared their own personal battles with mental health. But what really hit home was when Egan addressed those who might still be struggling. She reminded them that while it might feel like they're alone, they're absolutely not. You are so loved and you belong here, she reassured. Egan also urged anyone experiencing suicidal thoughts to reach out for help, mentioning the resources available, such as calling 988 or texting hello to 741741 to connect with a trained counselor 24 seven. Fans didn't hold back in their responses either. Many thank Egan not just for her portrayal of Chelsea, but for helping them through their own dark times. Egan even took the time to reply to those still struggling, offering words of encouragement and promising to share helpful resources. Sometimes soap operas can be all about over the top drama and away from reality, but every once in a while, a storyline comes along that cuts deeper, reminding us of the real life issues many of us face. This was one of those moments and Melissa Claire Egan helped make a difference in ways that go beyond the screen. Now, jumping over to General Hospital, it's been an absolute treat having Rena Sofer back as Lois Cerullo. After a 25-year absence, Sofer's return in 2023 had fans buzzing, and she's given us everything we could have possibly wanted. From her epic nails to her fierce attitude, Lois has been a force to be reckoned with, especially when it comes to giving Sonny Corinthos a piece of her mind. Honestly, we've missed Lois's no-nonsense, tell-it-like-it-is approach, and Sofer has slipped back into the role as if she never left. But wait, is Lois already on her way out of Port Charles again? Well, not exactly, but there's some buzz surrounding Sofer's recent move. According to Soaps in Depth, Sofer is packing up her life in Los Angeles and heading to New York State. For most people, moving across the country is no big deal, but when you're starring on a soap that shoots in LA, it raises some eyebrows. So, does this mean Lois is leaving General Hospital? Thankfully, no. Sofer has reassured fans that she's not going anywhere, at least not yet. While she won't be on contract, she's happy to commute back to LA when needed to film her scenes. This means we'll still be getting our Lois fix, but how often we see her might depend on how frequently she's called back to Port Charles. However, with her daughter, Brooke Lynn, and nephew Leo still in town, and rumblings of a possible grandchild in the future, we feel pretty confident that Lois won't be disappearing anytime soon. Fingers crossed that Sofer's move won't keep her from gracing our screens. Because let's be honest, we need more Lois Cerullo in our lives. Next up, Days of Our Lives fans have reason to celebrate too. Back in June, eagle-eyed viewers noticed that Casey Moss, who played J.J. Devereaux, tagged the show on his social media post. And now, we've just got the confirmation that Moss is actually returning to Salem. So mark your calendars, because J.J. will make his first appearance on Thursday, October 17th. 
For those who might need a little refresher, J.J. Devereaux is the son of Jack and Jennifer, born back in 2004. His early years were full of drama, of course, including being born on the island of Mellisewin while Jennifer was searching for a presumed dead Jack. Because this is days of our lives, after all, people rarely stay dead for long. J.J.'s storyline really took off when Moss joined the cast in 2013, portraying a troubled teen who struggled with drugs and emotional problems. He's definitely had his fair share of troubles over the years, from dealing drugs to getting tangled up with Paige Larson, and let's not forget that scandalous affair with Paige's mom, Eve. I mean, he even joined the Salem Police Department. So, I guess it's fair to say, JJ's life has never been boring. When Moss first took on the role, he admitted that he saw a lot of his younger self in JJ. In fact, in an interview with Soap Opera Digest, he admitted that JJ reminded him of his younger self, a sensitive kid who just didn't know how to express his emotions properly. He's a kid who feels betrayed. He doesn't know how to express himself emotionally, so he's acting out, but in a pretty severe way, he said. I don't see him as a bad kid. JJ is a very sensitive and emotional kid who doesn't know how to control his emotions. Moss also shared that his own difficult childhood helped him connect with JJ's struggles, adding another layer of authenticity to his performance. That connection clearly resonated with fans, and Moss even earned a Daytime Emmy nomination in 2018 for Outstanding Younger Actor. After a brief exit in 2020, when JJ went off to Africa following the death of his grandfather, Bill Horton, Moss returned for a short stint in 2022 after the tragic murder of JJ's sister, Abigail. Now he's back again, and we can't wait to see what drama unfolds. Will JJ's return shake up Salem? Only time will tell. Speaking of exciting returns, The Bold and the Beautiful is also shaking things up, but this time behind the scenes. Six-time Emmy winner Heather Tom, who already shines as Katie Logan, has been adding more to her resume. Not only is she directing episodes of Bold and Beautiful, but she's also joined the writing team. In a recent interview with Michael Fairman TV, Tom revealed that she's just finished her third script. That's kind of a new development, she shared. And honestly, who better to write for the show than someone who knows these characters inside and out? But if you think Tom is the only actor contributing to the writing staff, you're wrong. Lawrence St. Victor, who plays Carter Walton, has also been writing for the show. With both of them on board, we're hoping for some fresh dialogue that feels natural, and maybe even less of the repetitive conversations Bold and Beautiful has become infamous for. I mean, don't get us wrong. We love B&B, but sometimes enough is enough. And Tom's co-stars couldn't be happier for her. Don Diamond had nothing but praise for her, saying how Heather is just sensational and a fantastic director. Heather is just so gifted and so committed and it all matters to her, he said. It is the best thing of my career to work with this wonderfully talented woman. Clearly, the bold and beautiful team knows they've got something special with Tom and St. Victor. Here's hoping that their creative input will shake things up in the best way possible. With talent like Tom's helping shape the future of B&B, we're excited to see where the show goes. Could this mean fresher storylines and snappier dialogue? We sure hope so. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.